All right, this is my video on a um, helical coil antenna driven by a CHA250F transmission line transformer. I'm using a 7 8 inch uh, diameter Heliax, and I'm only feeding one end of this coil. This is the CHA250F transmission line transformer. And it is a uh, capable of connecting uh, through these wing nuts to a conventional loop type of antenna, or it can be end fed into this uh, helical coil antenna. I've also got provision to connect through a PL259 to another type of antenna. Now, this is what the inside of the uh, CHA250F looks like. I've got a uh, half inch copper tube connected through a braid to this copper tube and I'm feeding from the SO239 into this side of the copper loop through the braid and then connecting to uh, the RG58 coax winding uh, on this side and making two turns and a half turn to feed the uh, wing nuts and the uh, SO239 output. Here's a closer detail of the connection for the input with uh, the input SO239 feeding the, uh, the copper coil. And here's the output allowing the transmission line winding to connect to either an SO239 or to these uh, wing nuts. This would be the hot side. So you, you could attach it to a full loop type antenna and excite the loop that way. Or you could end feed the loop, end feed the loop and it works that way as well. And uh, checking the spectrum analyzer, uh, for this antenna, you can see 18 megahertz and very low VSWR. And here we are at 14 megahertz and about 1.23 uh, VSWR. Actually, it tunes up uh, flat on uh, the transceiver. And this is what the coil looks like. Uh, connected at the 80 meter band. And here we are at uh, 21 megahertz, very flat. And here's the performance at uh, 24 megahertz. Also very flat, good response. Okay, at 10 meters it uh, tunes a little bit higher. Uh, about 1.5, but uh, connecting it to the transmitter itself, it actually tunes much flatter. And here again is the connection. I've used uh, the 7 8 inch Heliax in a helical coil design, and I've got the braid coming down connecting to the transmission line transformer and the feed from the transceiver. So in uh, the first uh, proof of performance testing on the helical coil antenna, uh, my contact, my first contact was to France with uh, 40 watts and I got a 5.7 report. And then I got another report from a station in Sweden who was running a contest and uh, uh, he also gave me a 5.7 and that's with 40 watts. Later on uh, 80 meters, I uh, connected up the linear amplifier and I'm able to pump in uh, 1,200 watts peak envelope power uh, to the uh, helical coil antenna. Uh, 